Green Tons, Earthlings. Hey everyone, it's Jazzy here from Green Tons with another episode of Resonating with Jazzy. In this video, I'm going to show you 12 different ways to color resin. Throughout the video, I'm going to be using my Padico Soft Mold and the Padico Resin. You're going to notice in my mold, as I demold each piece, there's little scuff marks on the tops because I did something you should never do. Do not ever mix your resin in the actual mold because you'll scratch it like I did. Let's get started. The first method I'm showing for coloring resin is using the traditional method of UV pigment colors. These always work great. I will let you know throughout this video I did not use a heat embossing gun to pop any of the bubbles. So when you work with resin, it's a really good idea if you don't want the bubbles to use a heat gun. Do not use a flame because resin, UV resin is flammable. I'm going to cure each piece off camera, but I'm going to demold each piece on camera, and then at the end of this video, I'll compare each of the different methods. The second method that I'm using is alcoholics. If you're going to use these, make sure you do a test sample first, because as you'll see in this video, the color changes dramatically when it interacts with the UV resin. And also note that some alcohol inks may fade over time. The third method that I'm using is chalk pastels. I really love this method. It gives a really nice, opaque, smooth color to the resin. And as with almost all of the items that I'm using to color resin, a little bit goes a long way. The fourth method that I'm using is ultra fine glitter. Glitter works really well as a standalone. You don't have to add pigment to it. I love glitter as a method to color resin. The fifth method that I use for coloring resin is glass paints. These are typically used for painting on stemware or for stained glass work. Each color on its own is beautiful. Now when I mix two together to get purple, red, and blue, it's not a one-to-one -one ratio. And you're gonna see I end up with something that looks a lot like mud. I wish they had a color chart that shows exactly how many drops of each color to mix to get the right color. My recommendation is if you want to use these, buy each individual color so you have all the color spectrum rather than trying to mix your own. A little bit goes a long, long way. The sixth method of coloring resin that I'm going to use is paint markers. These are kind of tricky. What I did first was made a clear circle out of the resin and then I paint on top of it. This is a brand new marker. I got it at the 100 yen store. I would recommend using Posca paint markers. They're the best. After you finish coloring or painting your piece, you will need to seal the whole piece with some more UV resin. Paint markers have a tendency to want to peel off away from the resin. I did all of the sealing off camera. The seventh method for coloring resin that I'm going to show here is mica powders. With mica powders, make sure they're very finely ground, otherwise you're going to get little chunks of mica in your resin. The other thing that's kind of cool about these is you can get some really neat swirly patterns. The eighth way to color resin is with eyeshadow. You could also use blush. Just like with the mica powders, you want to make sure you don't have any chunks in your resin because otherwise you'll see those and it won't cure really nicely. This isn't the greatest color that I'm using. It's kind of a dark burgundy, but it does work well. The 
The ninth way to color resin is using acrylic paints. This is another one of my favorites because you get a really nice, smooth, opaque look and there's so, so many colors of acrylic paints to choose from and they're relatively inexpensive at about 90 cents a bottle. The tenth way to color resin is to use nail polish. Just like with the paint markers, I made a clear disc first, and then I had to do several coats, but I paint right on top of the disc. This was kind of a transparent nail polish. I would recommend more of an opaque color. You can also use UV nail polish. In either case, you do have to put a clear coat of resin on top of the piece when it's dry, which I forgot to do, and you'll see what happens when you forget to top coat it. The eleventh way to color resin is using cellophane or transparent films. I'm using a really inexpensive brand here from the 100 yen store. It's a cellophane. There's some transparent films that are a little bit thicker, that are a little bit easier to cut. I punched this between two pieces of paper to get a clean cut, but then I realized my circle's too big so I have to trim it down anyway. Another effect that you can get using cellophane or transparent films is to crinkle it up and then put it in the resin and it gives a really cool effect. You'll see me layer blue and red on top of each other and I get a really decent purple. If you do this, just make sure you cut them out exactly the same size so that you don't see the edges like you do in mine. The twelfth method to color UV resin is to use velvet flocking. I would recommend fluffing it up before adding it to your resin. The velvet flocking that I used was pretty condensed and compacted and I should have fluffed it off a bit to get a better color out of it, but it does work pretty well and it gives a very opaque coloring. Now we'll take a quick look at each of the 12 methods and I'm going to give you my top favorite four methods. They are, in no particular order, UV pigments, chalk pastels, ultrafine glitter, and acrylic paint. I hope this video was helpful and will give you some ideas on alternate ways that you can color your resin. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and please hit the bell notification so you'll always know when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching!